Prime Minister and Minister for Finance, Honorable Philip J. Pierre, delivered his second budget summary address in the Parliament for financial year 2022-2023 during the annual laying of the estimates of revenue and expenditure on March 28th. The Prime Minister's prudent fiscal management abilities, in conjunction with the industrious policy implementation efforts by the technocrats across the public service, resulted in a favorable economic outturn at the conclusion of the 2023 fiscal year. Mr. Speaker, for the 2022-2023 fiscal year, I am pleased to report that the government was able to stay within its budget ceiling and the economy performed much better than anticipated. Mr. Speaker, preliminary data up to February 2023 in indicates that the government will be spending approximately $1.571 billion for the fiscal year 2022 to 2023, which is higher than the actual in 2021-2022 by 15%, or an increase of $174.8 million, but less than the approved estimates of $1.842 billion. The Prime Minister was able to contain government expenditure and also execute policies that resulted in a reduction in the fiscal deficit and also yielded a primary surplus. Mr. Speaker, due to the performance of the economy, a prime, the primary surplus is expected in the amount of $29.6 million in, in contrast to a primary deficit of $220 million initially projected in the approved estimates. In the year 2021 to 2022, the primary deficit was $156 million. The Minister of Finance has successfully nursed central government operations from historic declines experienced during the COVID-19 pandemic to improved fiscal vitality into his second term in office. The 2023-2024 estimates of revenue and expenditure amounts to EC $1.85 billion. The priority areas for the upcoming fiscal year include national security, and public health care. The budget also seeks to shore up government support in the areas of equity and facilitate continued economic expansion. The budget comprises recurrent expenditure of $1.4 billion, capital expenditure of $414.4 million, including principal repayment of $112.2 million dollars. From the office of the Prime Minister, Brihani Isidore.